Introducing the Effleurage T-Bar from CareerExtenders.com. The Effleurage T-Bar tool is just a dream come true to use. Terrific for treating the quadriceps, hamstrings, the whole erector group on either side of the spine, the bottom of the feet. I'm finding more and more use, uses for it. Perfect for working on the arms as well, the glutes. It takes all that strain out between your thumbs and your fingers when you're doing effleurage. Your thumb is constantly being pulled back. It takes all of that pressure out of your thumb. Here I'm demonstrating using the uh, tool on the spine model. You keep that bar just inside the, tra the spinous processes. You're just sliding in that laminar groove with the edge of it and then the whole tool covers the entire erector group. Of course the muscles are much bigger on the, the model. The muscles have been cut in the upper part of this model. You see the curved area, which just fits beautifully, covers the whole erector group. I'm going to put a finger here in front of the tool, just to feel where those spinous processes are. Slide the tool along like this. I'm holding it the way I would use it, but occasionally you'll see me pull my hands away so you can see just what the tool is doing but I would keep my fingers there if I'm, when I'm working on the person. This person's spinous processes are not very prominent, so it requires my finger to be there to actually feel where the tissues are. You can see that whole erector group is getting treated. I could be pushing a little bit more into the laminar groove or a little more over into the other side. Obviously I'm not going to dig the far end of the tool into the ribs, So again, using this tool, I'm using it here on the calf muscles. That I would have my hands right on the person when I'm actually using the tool, but as I'm demonstrating, I pull my hands away. The patient doesn't even know that you're using a tool. They feel your hands and the energy contact. If you want to get a little deeper on one area, you can press in a little bit more on one edge or the other edge. You can go just as deeply or as lightly as the person requires. Also note on the smaller body part that I've turned the tool at a bit of an angle so the contour fits the smaller body part. My hands are just gently sliding on the skin. The tool is doing all of the work. I'm constantly reminding myself when I first start to use it that my tool is doing the work and not my hands. Now we're doing the hamstrings. Again, you can see how beautifully the shape just fits right on the body. By pressing a little deeper on one side, I can get more pressure into that lateral hamstring. If I press in, I can get more in the inner hamstring. An actual application, my hand would be on the person. For sake of the camera, I'm keeping my hands back. You can see how effortless use your hand, your thumb is constantly pulling back. Over the years you're going to get all kinds of pain in these joints. I've been doing this 15 years. These, these joints have a lot of pain. I have techniques for treating that which I'll show you. Year by year my thumb is taking more and more. It's taking more and more of a toll on my body. But now that I'm using all of these tools that I've invented, I'm hoping that my thumb will recover nicely. Obviously it would be better if you don't injure your thumb in the first place by using the tools. You can get right up into these uh, ligaments and gluteus maximus attachment on the bone, working right around that head of the trochanter. With a little bit of practice, you'll start to really appreciate this tool. I can basically do these glutes, follow around, it feels just terrific to the person that you're working on. 
feels really, really good. Your patients will just love this. Believe me, it does not feel harsh at all. It feels wonderful. So I've put some lotion on the foot, and I'm going to treat the foot with the same tool. I can do it this way. I can slide it over. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but I can hold the top of the foot and put my thumb on the edge of the tool so I can add a little more pressure if needed. The far side of the tool is, of course, what's working on the foot. And I can sneak my fingers around and hold that far side to pull it into the foot if I need more pressure. It feels really, really sweet. It's a real good warm-up for those tissues before you get in to specific things. At that point, I'll probably switch over to this tool, which I will show in another demonstration, which I'll be able to get into these specific areas. I can bring that tool up on the edge to get really directly on certain problem areas. But we do most of the work with the rounded or general area. Or in the case of where the plantar fascia is really tight, you can scrape it with this tool again. It will be demonstrated in a different clip.